Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a question about the water resource engineering and the question will be from the chapter of dams and we are going to solve the question as a, a reinforced, con sorry, a, a concrete gravity dam. So now let's solve the question. Look at here, we are going to uh, first read the question and then uh, we are going to solve it. But before we pass the question, if you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. So now let's pass the question. Determine the base width of 20 meter high trapezoidal concrete gravity dam having a vertical upstream face here. Okay, uh, sorry, and uh, this part. And the top of it is so top of it of five meter. Design water depth is eighty meter. There's a, there's no tail water. Ignore earthquake, silt, and ice loads. So we're going to take the eccentricity is B over six, and the uh, uh, net shear uh, point that will be uh, applied is going to be from the the center line base of here. Okay. So now and these parameter stresses that we are going to use. Now we can see. So now let's solve the question. The first I'm going to I'm going to divide this uh, concrete block to two parts to try to calculate the weight of uh, concrete. So I'm going to divide from here. This is going to be W1 and it's going to be W2. Okay. So now I'm going to draw this shape here for you. For example, this is our uh, dam. Okay. And I have this is the uh, height of water. Sorry. And I have an hydrostatic force here, and it's going to be applied at this location. And this length is 80 meter. And I divide it to two, and this is W1, and this is W2. Okay. And I have an uplift force at this direction. And this is going to be a triangular. And uh, I have just these four forces. Okay. And this is the point uh, as O, tau. We are going to take the moment respect to tau. Okay, so now let's calculate uh, the W1 and W2, also the hydrostatic force and uplift force. Okay, this is uplift force. So now I'm going to do calculation here. The first, I'm going to calculate the W1. And look at here, this is, sorry, this is five meter. And this is whole length is B b so this is going to be 5 and it's going to be b minus 5 okay so now and this is 18 meter so let's do it so for w1 5 because look at here this is a rectangular 5 multiplied 20 5 multiplied 20 multiply the unit weight of the concrete 24 and this is going to be 24 100 kilonewton meter as the force okay so now uh, for w2 this is going to be look at it this is a triangular now you can see this is better here this is triangular so 0.5 this for triangular shape multiply 20 the height of uh, this uh, block and multiply b minus 5 b minus 5 it is this length okay this is 5 so this is b minus 5 and multiply 24 this is the unit weight of the concrete okay this is 240 multiplied b minus 5 and this is kilo newton meter okay so now let's calculate the hydrostatic force hydrostatic force and this is going to be 0 0.5 multiplied 10 the unit weight of the water and multiply the this water depth okay 18 square so and this is going to be 1620 kilonewton meter and also we have an uplift force i told you that here look at here this is uplift force and 0.5 multiply the unit weight of the uh, water and multiply the 18 and multiply the length of base and this is 90 B okay so now actually we have our forces let's calculate the moment arms okay moment arms I'm going to write the moment arms here and moment arms look at here for uh, W1 
from that the center of that point we are going to take the moment with respect to point o okay this is point o from that point to here so what's going to be this is going to be b minus 2.5 right because look at here this is half of this length this is 5 total length is going to be 2.5 and it's going to be 2.5 so for the w2 this one for the w1 okay this one for the w1 and look, let's do it for w2 and this is going to be look at here for w2 this is a uh, triangular so the center of gravity of this uh, length it's going to be two third of b right b minus five so this is going to be two multiplied b sorry b minus five over three right so now we got it for w2 let's for uh, do it for uh, hydrostatic force for hydrostatic force we assume that okay we assume that the force will be applied as triangular shape okay so how it's going to be this can be 18 sorry uh, so it's going to be 18 over 3 right because if you remember that i told you here the uh, center of gravity for the uh, triangular it is the two-third of the length of triangular okay the height of the triangular so let's wait for the up the force yeah if you remember that i told you that up the force is going to be uh, applied as here is created as triangular so you're going to take the b 2b over 3 okay for up the force 2b over 3 so now we got the moment arms i'm going to multiply the moments with the moments arms uh, sorry the forces sorry these are the forces i forget to write it here okay and i'm going to obtain the moments here okay moments if you write the each forces and the moment arms uh, with the uh, paper so you you cannot make any mistakes during the exams okay so just specify all the forces and the moment arms then you're going to multiply it one by one so this is going to be for w1 it's going to be 2400 b minus 6000 and for the w2 it's going to be 160 160 multiply b minus 5 squared right and uh, for the uh, hydrostatic force for this one it's going to be 9 7 20 okay and uh, for the up force it's going to be 60 b square so 60 b square so now we have the moments so let's write the overturning moments and the resisting moments okay so look at here i'm going to show you which one is the overturning the moment it will uh, rotate the dam at the clockwise direction is overturning okay and if which one is the reverse that which one is reverse that okay which forces for example this is down and this is down okay this is just up and so this one is going to be moment resistant okay the um, the moment that we're going to rotate the dam at the clockwise direction is overturning and the reverse so it's going to be resisting moment okay so now let's write it so now I'm going to first, I'm going to take uh, the F, uh, net, uh, sorry, net shear force, okay? Net shear force. So what is net shear force? What are the forces we have? We have W1, we have W2, and we have minus Fu, sorry, up the force. So let's write the forces, 2400 and plus 240B minus 1, 200 and minus 90 b and this is going to be equal to 150 b plus 12,000 sorry 1200 sorry and now you can see we got the uh, net shear force and now let's calculate the overturning moment okay overturning moment this is going to be 9720 plus 60 b squared so Look at here which one is overturning i'm going to show you which one is overturning so overturning has to be at this direction right at this direction so clockwise direction so which forces turn this okay which forces turn this dam to the clockwise direction this we have an up uh, hydrostatic force and we have an uplift force right because these two forces they are going to rotate this uh 
them to the clockwise. So this is going to be overturning moment. Let's check what is the moment value of this force. Look at here. This is kilonewton meter. Uh, kilonewton meter. These are the moments. Okay. So this both forces they are going to rotate this uh, concrete beam to the overturn as okay. So now let's write the uh, moment resisting moment resisting. Okay. I'm going to show you that which one is the resisting. Look at here. I told you that the resisting moment, <coughs> sorry, the um, uh, direction of the resisting moment must be counterclockwise direction. So W1 and W2, uh, as we can say, the weight of the concrete by itself is going to uh, make a resisting moment, okay, create a resisting moment. So now we are going to take this both moments value. So let's write it down. This is going to be 160 multiplied b minus 5 square. Look at here, this one, and I'm going to take this one, okay? Plus 2400 b minus 6000. And this is going to be equal to 160 b square. I'm going to open that uh, parenthesis, okay? And minus 160 b plus 4,000 and plus 2,400B and minus 6,000. So now I have a resisting moment to take the uh, summation of the moment. So it didn't take the net moment. We have to take the summation of, uh, sorry, the, take the differences of uh, overturning moment and the resisting moment. Okay, so now let's do it here. I'm going to take the moment net moment okay and we are going to take resisting moment minus overturning moment and this is going to be 100 b square okay 100 b square and minus sorry uh, plus 800 b and uh, plus so minus 11 720. So now we got the net moment here. So if you have a net moment, we are going to uh, calculate the others. So let's do it. So now we have moment. Look at here. In the question, it says that the net vertical force, the application of net force, okay, net shear force, is at the toe side with respect to the center line of the base. So how it's going to be? Look at here. So for example, this is our so this is our base, okay? This is our base, is B. So I'm going to take the half of this B. So this is, uh, we can say B over two. This is B over two, whole, B over two. And the eccentricity, it says that take E is equal to B over six, right? Look at here. It says B over six. So this is going to be B over six. I'm gonna show you B over six. So look at here. I'm gonna take the center line from the center line b over 6, for example, this is b over 6. And uh, this part, this part, this length is x bar. And this is b over uh, 2 minus b over 6. b over 2, b over 2 minus b over 6. Okay? So, this is going to be x bar. And this is so this is b over 3. Okay? So this is 3. So this is b over 3. So I'm going to write the application point of uh, application point of uh, net shear uh, force. Okay? This is going to be calculated like that. Total net moment over net shear force. This is going to be 100 b square. Okay? I'm going to write this one. Plus 800 b minus 11 720 over the net shear force what is that i calculated here 150 150 b and plus 1200 this is equal to b over 3 right b over 3 okay so now i have this when i take when i take a uh, multiplication okay multiplication as like that, I'm going to take this uh, uh, up part to the three and this one to here, okay? 
and I'm going to obtain something like that. And 300 B square plus uh, 2400 B minus 35 160 equal to, sorry, equal to 150 B square and plus 1 to OOB, okay? When I get this whole to here, and I'm going to obtain 150B square plus 1200B and minus 35, 160 equal to zero. When I take uh, the root of this uh, second degree equation uh, by dissolving this uh, equation to with the discrimination method, okay, I'm going to take the root of that uh, part so I'm going to obtain from minus look at it from minus b plus square root of delta over 2a I'm going to obtain as b is equal to 11.82 okay this part is b b is going to be 11.82 so the base width of the base width of this um dam is going to be 11.82 meter i didn't solve this uh, equation for you because you know you know from the math from the calculus from the high school how to solve uh, this uh, equation okay so i don't need to write it here i actually can give you the formula b square minus 4ac is equal to delta and after that you're going to write it its own uh, place here and then you're going to obtain uh, 11.82 so now the question is solved if anything you didn't understand, please command. I'm going to try to uh, fix the problem. Now, now uh, see you for the next question.